welcome back to my channel. This is Yummy Brand of Yummy, Carol Show. And today's video is vlog unboxing and showing you guys what is this company all about and is it safe to shop with them. Getting to know the company, getting to know the yarns that they're selling and the things that you can do around their websites. This is a video that is sponsored by Hobby. Too kind to send me all this squishy goodies in my mail. So we'll be unboxing this one and I will show you each and every yarn that I receive from Hobby. I will also do some swatches for you guys to have an idea um, what this yarns will look like in your future projects. So if you want to know about Hobby, then stay tuned. And also I have a surprise giveaway at the end of the video. So you might want to check that one out. So this video also aims to answer some questions of what is hobby and is it safe to shop with hobby? Surprisingly, even if hobby is very popular and huge, a lot of people still doesn't know about hobby. For some reason, I still see those people who ask, is hobby safe to shop? Yeah. So I was really like, wow, people still doesn't know about hobby. So I think I am aiming this video too, that to inform those crowds that it is safe to shop with hobby. So first off is if you order from hobby for plastic looks like this, okay? If it's a box, it has a, um, a tape that has a name hobby. It is well packed. It is sturdy, the plastic bag. Sometimes it can't be avoided. Like, you know, parcels are um, ripped or the boxes are, you know, open or it's usually the crew's problem. Like, I've never had that kind of experience with Australian postage. In my case, um, I always have the Australia postage sent my parcels from Hobby. So far, so good. I've never experienced those ripped parcels, but there are a lot of people experience that. So I will show you what I've got and from there we will also try swatches. Oh, hi. They sent me this beautiful bag. It's a canvas bag, a tote canvas bag. <laughs> That's me. This and it's very beautiful. I am a fan of tote bag. I have so many tote bags for shopping. So they sent me a tote bag and this is what it looks like. It is quite thick. It's not your typical a dollar to tote bag from the shops. And it has a pocket. Wow. This is for my hooks. Thank you. This is beautiful tote bag. It's thick actually. It's very thick. So this is the universe yarn and it is 98 acrylic and 2% polyester because it has a glitter. So that's what it looks like. So that's what it looks like. It has a glitter and it's polyester. 98% acrylic and a polyester. And we will do a squish tip test for this later. And 55% cotton and 45% acrylic. And that's the shade that I pick. And I've got five of this. So I've got five of the same shade, but you can definitely pick from different shades. It's this beautiful Diablo glitter and it has a glitter. There's another one too that is Diablo, but don't have a glitter. This one has a glitter. This is the Diablo glitter um, range. So Diablo glitter. Okay, so this is 37 acrylic, 31 polyamide. 28 more hair and 4% polyester. So it's just simply beautiful. Look at that. There are at least three kinds of this cotton in hobby. So there's 88, 84, and 86. But in this bag, they already um, pile it up for you, ready for projects. So, you know, if you will start from the lightest shade all the way to the darkest or from the darkest all the way to the lightest. Like, I want that kind of pace when you're working because you don't need to do the combination of colors yourself. You know, that's why I'm a fan of um, gradient yarns too because I don't need to combine colors. So I picked this one because I want to use this for that kind of project that gradually changes color. And when you order with Hobby, they always send you a free things from stitch markers to darning needles, stuff like that, or buttons. So this time they send me a buttons. This one is a 12 millimeter buttons, a crystal 
buttons. So every time you order from Hobby, you always have a free goodies to receive with your parcel and a lolly. Everyone in Hobby World is obsessed with this lolly. There's actually a bag of this lolly in this store points where you can actually purchase using your points. So now we will proceed to the close-up inspection or close-up shots of the yarns and what they look like if they have a swatches. So I have here four kinds of yarn. I have here the Solid Twister, the Universe Extra Large, and the Glitter Diablo, and also a bag of 88 Rainbow Cotton. So our first yarn here is called Twister, and it is made of 55% cotton and 45% acrylic and solid, meaning it is a solid color or it's not gradient, it's not glitter or it's not ombre. This is the shade that I pick. It's a pale pink and this is what it looks like. Most of hobby yarns comes with an easy start in the middle. So it has an indication where to start if you want to start from the center and it says easy starts. And the jacket is made of semi-plastic or semi-paper kind of material. It is reusable and not easily ripped. So that's one thing I like about hobby yarns. The, the jacket can be reused. This is the lot dye and this is the color number. And at the back is your information of the yarn. So here there's the name Twister Solid. And then it is made of 55% cotton and 45% acrylic. This is a 100 gram yarn or 400 meter. And there's a suggested sizes of the hook for knitting. And also there is a suggested sizes for crocheting. And this is fine or category 2 yarn. Okay, and also they include how to take care of your finished garments using this yarn. So here is the swatches of the yarn. It's a bit stretchy. It's good stretched materials. I like it. Um, most of the project using this yarn, it has a good stretched um, capabilities. So again, there's an easy start indicator here and this is what it looks like. So the second yarn that I will show you guys is called the Universe Extra Large or XL. The thickness of its yarn, it's extra large. There are other universe that is a lot thinner compared to this one. So I think the extra large indicates that it is a thicker or big kind of yarn. It is made of a 98% acrylic and 2% polyester. So I think the polyester here refers to the glitter that is wrapped around each fiber of this yarn. So this is the shade that I pick and it's a beautiful sky blue and orange combination. So at the back again, it comes an information about the yarn. This is the Universe Extra Large 98% acrylic and 2% polyester. And it is a 100 gram and 820 meter yarn. The meter age of the yarn is quite decent. You can make a lot of stops using just one skein. And then there is also a suggested size of needles for knitting and sizes for crochet hook. So you can either follow the suggested sizes of the hook if you're a beginner or you can always work around the sizes of the hook. And this is lightweight yarn or category 3. Again, there is an information of how to take care of your garments once you use this for a project. Okay, and it is designed in Denmark for hobby. And here in the side is the color number. This is 28 in the dye lot, which is very important too, especially if you're running out of yarns and you need the exact dye lot of the yarn that you're using to make your project same color. So this is the swatches that I made with Universe Extra Large. Again, it has a nice stretch capability or nice stretchy material. It is very soft. It's not itchy. It's actually nice in the... And again, it's just made of haftable crochet and haftable crochet, third loop only kind of swatches. It's very beautiful and the glitter gives the yarn a little bit of drama. 
And it's just the beginning of the yarn, the beginning part of the yarn. Um, again, the yarn will change color as you go. So it's just the beginning or the starting. So our third yarn is the Diablo Glitter. So this is the third yarn that I picked. It's called Diablo Glitter. There are other kind of Diablo. Um, there are Diablo that has no glitter and also there's um, the ones that changes color. This one is very soft and squishy as you can see here and it has a glitter. And it is made of 37 acrylic, 31% polyamide and 28% mohair and 4% polyester so it's made of different kind of fiber and it's very nice perfect for that project that you want to have a lacy effect so again there is an information in the yarn jacket at the back that says diablo glitter and then it's made of acrylic polyamide mohair and polyester and it is 25 gram or 200 meters decent uh, meter age when it comes to yarn so you can do a lot of stuff with one skein or two and these are the knitting needle suggested sizes and also a crochet size for this kind of yarn and again designed in denmark for hobby and if you flip the jacket um, like this, you will also see how to take care of this kind of fiber when it is converted or it's already in, made into a finished crochet piece. And again, I have a swatches here and this is the swatches that I made I'm using a half double crochet and half double crochet, third loop only and it is very beautiful i like the effect it looks so lacy or very flimsy kind of top if you were to make it into a top but it's very gorgeous i've noticed that it's very soft and it's not itchy so when you say mohair usually you think it's actually an itchy yarn but no this one is very beautiful it feels nice in the skin and it's soft and the fourth yarn um, that I will be reviewing for today is the Rainbow Yarn 88 and then this is the yarn that I picked because I want to use this for a project that changes color gradually and then this is the color bag 8 okay so this is what the color bag 8 looks like and there are 10 skeins of yarn in one bag this is very squishy this is very soft it's nice yarn i've been working with this kind of yarn for some time now and again this one also comes with an easy starts from the center pull or the center of the skein so again, there are information at the back of the yarn jacket. So it says Rainbow 8 8% cotton, a 50 gram or 75 meter. And again, the size of the needle for knitting. So this is the suggested size for the knitting needles. And of course, the crochet hooks that you can use with this yarn. This kind of yarn is lightweight or category three and it also includes how to take care of your garments okay so designed in denmark and made for hobby so it's been asked for some times in um, hobby group what is the difference between 88 and 84 so i will have a quick comparison here just to have an idea what is 88 means or what is 84 means so 88 is just simply the little strands that is gathered together to make a one strand and there are eight strands or little fibers to make the 88 yarn so this one has eight fibers or eight little strands to make into one fiber so hence the 88 so eight strands compared to this one the pink one is four eight so four eight means four strands to make it into one fiber or one fiber strand so it's eight strands and four strands hence the reason um that's why the name says eight eight or eight four and there's also eight six but unfortunately i don't have the eight six in my stash so i can only compare the eight eight and eight four this is the swatches that I made with the 8-8 rainbow cotton and again it's very beautiful. It's not as stretchy as the rest of the other yarn but it's very pretty. It has a nice clean finished product.
So this is the part where you can check your points. So so far this is my points and I can definitely use the points to purchase something. So how to check your points is you'll just have to go to the my points and you will basically see the summary of how you earned the points. So you can also earn points in purchasing the yarns, joining the bingo and um, making a reviews. So when you say making a reviews like the yarn that you bought in the past, you'll just have to make a review and upload a photo from uh, for them. And these points can be used in the point store. Okay, so there is a section there in the website that says my points and then point store so as you can see here these are the things that you can use your points to purchase buttons and um, tags slips um, darning needles and lots of things so the more points you will collect the more stuff you can get or buy with that points in the point store and it is pretty awesome actually and this is another way to earn points is when you review the yarn that you bought and well you can also upload a photo of the sample of the project that you made that yarn with and you will earn a 300 points. In this part of the website is the free patterns. Yes, hobby definitely offer a free patterns to all customers who sign up. Okay, so you have to sign up to be able to avail the free patterns and there are so many cool patterns in the website there's also a plus membership that you can also avail you'll just have to log in and um, be a member and then there are exclusive patterns for plus members only so in this section here is what we called bingo and it is every week monday in australia and new zealand and the rest of the world i think it's sunday but it's monday here in australia and you can definitely download it in app store or in google play so before I will end this video, I would like to invite everyone to stay tuned for the tutorial of this cute top that I made with Rainbow Cotton 8.8. So yes, this is the yarn that I received from Hobby and I turned it into this beautiful piece that is perfect for summer with a bow or ribbon. It's colorful and it's so lovely and the stitches is just stunning. Please join me and stay tuned for the tutorial as I will upload this in the future future. And as I promise at the beginning of the video that I will have a surprise giveaway. So please comment your answer in the comment section below and I will randomly pick three winners to win a PDF copy of a rosé ruffled sleeve pattern and I will announce the winner at the end of the month. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for staying with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and if you are interested of the yarns, please visit the description box below and also all the link is there for you to avail the yarns. So thank you so much and I hope to see you again sometime next week. Goodbye! <laughs>